Hey guys, how's it going? Beautiful morning. One of the mornings where it's not absolutely freezing. So, gardening in rubber. As you can see, in rubber. Now, you've got to be careful because some of the plants will have like spiky bits. A lot of those are usually the citrus and some others. But I thought I'd share this with you. See, look at this. This is a blood orange tree and it's got some beautiful little flowers and look this is my zucchini see here that's the female flower and this is the male flower what I'm doing is getting some of that and putting it on here I don't think I did it as well with another one that this one here. I think that one was a bit of an abortive attempt there. So I'm getting some of the pollen and putting it on there. Here's another female which is yet to flower. Hopefully that'll be open tomorrow because this one was like that one yesterday. But now it's like flowered a lot. So you get the a little paintbrush and try and pollinate it like that if you have bees um, you won't really need to do that see look at see the pollen pollen here see a little bits of yellow there and I won't do that with all my my flowers and plants but with some of them now I'll probably have to wash this off because if I'm going to try and pollinate some other plants I'll probably cross pollinate and that wouldn't be a good thing so paintbrushes are pretty cheap to get though so it's not that much of a drama to be able to get a few and go hey look you have fruit <laughs> I think I've got some um, I think I've got some pumpkin down the down the back here I've got some beans that are flowering but I don't think that they need any help um, with the pollinating the ones at the front might because there's not that many bees around at this point in time I'll show you this um, so here are some Little tomato plants, and you can do stuff like that to get more tomatoes, like what I've got there. I'm not up on the deck compost. I've got I've got these going out of my compost. Yeah, I, I'm not quite sure of the which ones are the male flowers, which ones are female flowers, and the pumpkins at the moment. So I'm going to have to do a bit of research on that. But see, little flowers. Sometimes they'll pollinate in themselves and the tomatoes are doing alright. They're having their own good time there. They've got plenty of, of um, little flowers and other things and birds and butterflies and all that around here that will pollinate for them. At the front there. Uh, of my place, that's not so much. Um, what else? Nothing much. I just thought I'd show you guys that because hey, gardening and rubber doesn't have to be all that hard, but you just have to be a little bit careful when you have some spiky ones. And I'll show you some some natives which have repotted and look at all this bright green new growth. So some of the old growth is starting to, to die off there. More than Saul. <laughs> and here's some more. These these guys, they were all curled up really tight before now that like the, the the leaves are coming out. They were pretty much shriveled like that. Like a way of conserving water and so that they need lots of water and care. So they're all done. These are looking a lot healthier. I've been seeing a lot of new growth. Some of these frangipanis are dying. Um, this one looks okay. They're getting lessons in um, 
propagating frangipanis, basically cutting bits off where it's all nice and solid and a little bit of green tip. Um, when the, the sap comes out, that's generally pretty good, put them in a bucket of water overnight and if they're still fat and absorbing and the ends where you cut it off, if it doesn't start going grey and yucky or brown or start looking like it's dying off, then they should be alright. So I've got some here that will hopefully keep growing. No, they, they looked alright. So I'll show you. See, that's looking kind of alright there. See where it's there. Looking pretty good there. Just in some water. And I've got some peas growing. Some of these mows are looking pretty sad. I haven't replanted them yet. And get some more pots. And what I've got here is I've got my smellery. These are these are interesting because they they kind of grow out like that, but then you need to build up the base like that and squash squash it so it gets longer. Otherwise, you get short short and long, and they spread out this way. So for them to go up and look like the celeries that you have, there, it's what they call blanching. Some people say you need to grow them in tubes. I'm like, no, you don't really need to grow them in tubes. You just need to kind of push them up. Push them up like this and start growing. I kind of cut and eat stuff as I go along, so I guess that naturally starts pushing them up um, from around the outside. But yeah, that's uh, my garden and me fertilizing the plants in this ah, beautiful spring morning. It's, it's now spring here, which is pretty awesome. I'll just put this paintbrush away. But yeah, one of the good things, um, I guess some people call it essential, if you don't have bees, have a, a little paintbrush they can use when the things flower to, paint, to let them cross-pollinate. Even ones that don't have male and female flowers, you can use the pollen from one flower to go to another. So that's pretty cool. Anyways... That's enough for me. It's gardening and latex. It might be a thing. Who knows? Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.